miss some easy buckets. So hats off to UT Martin. Uh, Coach McMillan has done an unbelievable job uh, there and, and getting that program in, in two short years into championship form. Uh, basketball, women's basketball is up in the Ohio Valley Conference. I can assure you, you know, the top four seeds, there are only two seniors in the top four seeds. So this this is going to be a league um, that that's set for, for some serious success on a national stage. I'm, I'm very proud to be a part of this league. We've missed a lot of, we've missed a lot of easy shots, and, and when you miss easy shots, it kind of takes a little wind out of your sails. Uh, and then what we were asking our team to do defensively uh, and extend and pressure and uh, try to limit uh, their their open looks and you know whatever it is take away their airspace feel your presence you know I thought we did a good job defending fouled them a little too much on the perimeter but uh, uh, when you when you miss those easy shots and then have to go down and defend for the full court that that's tough who knows I don't know how you quantify that stuff you know you're playing for a chance to win a win a championship. Um, I, I'd like to think we were absolutely as focused as uh, we've been all year. There's nothing to tell me otherwise. Um, legs, I didn't. I didn't feel like we we were weak legged. Uh, I felt like our stamina was good. There was only about two possessions out there where I could see a noticeable difference. But uh, you know, we called on the girls and they was fine. <clears throat> it hurts my heart that uh, that I couldn't help her get to a championship. It's what the kid deserves, you know. She's uh, she's going to go out as easily the greatest player in Moorhead State history uh, and one of the greatest players to ever play in this league. And I'm unbelievably fortunate to, to have been able to coach her in her senior year.